and I'm going to show you how to take an existing PowerPoint and turn it into an interacting PowerPoint that you can easily upload as an assignment on Schoology. For me, I have a journal writing prompt planned out for almost every day of the year for my kiddos on PowerPoints. And typically what I do is I have them organized by week and by day. And you can see that in one PowerPoint, I have five or six slides to cover the whole week. And usually I just open up the slide, put it on my smart board, the kids look at it, we talk about it and they get writing. I'm not going to be able to do that this year, obviously, because they're going to be at home. So when we get to the point that they are independent, then I will be assigning them their writing and I want them to be able to respond and write back to me. And I would also like them to be able to have the prompt in front of them to use. A lot of times you can see here, I'll have a word box or I might even have some sentence frames to support them and I want them to have them where they can see. So because I have five days worth of work in one, full, in one file, I took a screenshot of each of the prompts so that I could have them separated, okay? So I'm gonna open up PowerPoint, open up a brand new presentation, and the first thing I'm going to do is change the page setup. Um, because my slides go horizontal, I've just found that when I'm putting them in here for, the, for this project, Flipping the page makes things better. So I went to page setup. I'm sorry if you didn't see that. I changed the setting to eight and a half by 11. I said, okay. And then it asked me if I want to scale up or scale down and I chose scale up. Now you can see the papers going this way. So the prompt that I'm going to put on there, I don't want the kids to be able to edit or move or change. I just want it there to support their writing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click view and go to slide master. And then I'm going to insert my prompt here as part of the slide master. So I have the um, screenshot of the slide here. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the slide master and then I'm going to crop it because it's just a screenshot and there's a lot of extra stuff on there that they don't need. This is my prompt that I give my kids every Monday. How was your weekend? Okay, so I'm going to bring it up to the top of the page and I'm going to resize it. So it kind of takes up like half, half of the page and I'm actually going to crop this a teeny bit more give more space for them to write. Okay, so there. Now, when you're done with that, you wanna click outside of the box and this will change the slide master. See how it says slide master? It will say close master. That means this is on there, close it. And now what happens is this is the slide instead of just a plain white slide. There's a couple of boxes here that come with it. I'm gonna get rid of those. Okay, and there, and you can see that no matter what I do, that part's not, can't be changed or moved or taken away. So all I have to do after that is insert a text box so that the kiddos have a place to type their answer. So here's my text box. And I like to write, click here and type your response. I'm also going to make that a font that looks more like printing and I'm going to make it bigger for right now because it is September and they're not going to write as many sentences. I also like to highlight it and click it yellow because I think it brings attention to the space. So now I'm done. So I can go up here, save this to my OneDrive. Make sure you save it to your OneDrive. It's gonna make your life so easy. And I'm going to write weekend journal prompt. Let's just call it that. Save it to my OneDrive and I'm done. Quick and easy, right? Painless. So I'm going to go over to Schoology now and I'm just going to choose my sandbox for now because that's the class I'm practicing in. I'm making sure I get everything right before I go to my real class. I'll go into materials click Add Materials, and add an assignment. 
So I might want to call this Monday journal writing. And then I might write, how was your weekend? Tell me all about it or whatever you want. Now, the beginning of the year with the littles, not everybody can read and it's really tough. So I'm going to come down here to this microphone and click the microphone. And you can see it now gives me an option to record directions or to record in video. And I'm going to do both. Even though my hair and makeup is not done, I think it's important for the kids to see us as much as possible. So I'm going to click on that. And it says right here, start recording. So I'll say, happy Monday, boys and girls. How was your weekend? For today, in writing, I want you to write about your weekend. You can start with, my weekend was blank. Tell me how it was. Was it awesome? Was it fun? Was it boring? And then tell me, if you think your weekend was awesome, you can say, my weekend was awesome. It was awesome because blah, blah, blah. And tell me all about it. I hope it was a good one. Thank you. Bye. So you can see now I can insert the recording and it pops up right here that they can see them. Now click OneDrive Assignments because that journal prompt's not there yet and find it, Monday Journal Prompt and attach. And what that does is if you can see over here, this is gonna make a copy for each kid. All right, and I'll make the due date tomorrow at midnight. The category is writing, and then I can click create. So what happens now, if you go down to the bottom of my materials, here's my assignment. The kids can click on here, and you can see they could click right here. They can delete this, and they could start typing their their answer, okay? And then when they're finished, they could submit it. Now, I did the same assignment and I gave it to Allison and she uploaded it so you could see it from the kiddo's perspective. So she uploaded it here to Tuesday under ELA, but here is Monday journal writing. So now you're seeing it from the kiddo's perspective. Here is the directions, click on my document, and be patient, and here it is. This is my answer actually because I had already typed it. If I unsubmit, the prompts will come up here, and I could click edit, and I could retype my answer, but you can see here's my answer, and when they are ready and they're finished, the only thing they have to do is close the window. It automatically brings you back to Schoology and you can submit. Yes, submit, and it's done. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Bye.